All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Cooper here, one half of FCSN, and congratulations to Oregon Duck quarterback Marcus Mariota on winning the 2014 Heisman Memorial Trophy. This man had an outstanding year, much deserved, and he just went out there and he, he earned it. I mean, you, there's not much to debate here. Marcus Mariota had one of the best years you could possibly have. I put his stats on the screen for you guys. Off the charts, absolutely ridiculous play, and in my, my personal opinion, my uh, criteria to win the Heisman Trophy is playing for a very good team that is in national championship contention and being the main reason behind it, being the, t uh, the reason your team is successful, being the leader of that team, um, and just being that guy, the face of the program, and just making big-time plays in big-time games. And Marcus Miller certainly did that this season. Congratulations to him. Like I said, well-deserved. Had himself a crazy year. He even had a receiving touchdown. Um, he pretty much did it all for the Oregon Ducks. That offense is playing outstanding all year long. They're headed to the college football playoff to take on Florida State. What a year they had. Um, I think this college football playoff system definitely benefited Oregon because um, in previous years, they'd lose one game and knock themselves out of it. Now, Mariota has a chance to possibly end his career on a positive note. We'll see how that all plays out. I'll break that down in a later video. But congrats to the other candidates as well. Uh, Amari Cooper, what a year this man had as well. 115 catches in the SEC. He was almost unstoppable, especially in that Iron Bowl. Like, that's a big-time rivalry game, and when in doubt, they just went to him time after time after time, and uh, he's just a great player. What can I say? It runs in the family, right? And then uh, Melvin Gordon as well. He broke the rushing record. He had over 400 yards in just three-quarters of play in the snow versus Nebraska which isn't like some cupcake team. That's a very credible team, and he went out and just dominated, only to have it broken the week later. But nonetheless, you get to credit the man. He had an outstanding game. Outstanding year overall, very consistent. Um, he had a couple down games, but pretty much the whole year, Nebraska just, uh, not Nebraska, uh, excuse me, Wisconsin just pounded Melvin Gordon, and just uh, put, he put the team on his back, and he deserved to be there. The three tennis definitely deserved to be there. I think, in my opinion, there should have been four or five, because last year they had six, and most years they have four or five, and they only had three this year. I think Trevon Boykin got snubbed. I, I think, in my personal opinion, he should have been there. But nonetheless, we got down to it. I think the top three guys were the top three guys. Um, I think they all deserved to be there. Merrill definitely deserved to win. And we'll see how this thing plays out for the rest of the season. I enjoyed uh, breaking down the highs of watch from week to week for you guys. All the injuries, suspensions, and just crazy stuff all over the board that happened. Um, and the final result was that the preseason favorite ended up getting the Heisman Trophy. Um, and that's how it ended up. It was a lot of fun to break down. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of how the season played out, who you expected to win the Heisman Trophy in the preseason, and then how they ended up playing this, uh, this season. And uh, that's all I got for you guys this time. Follow me on Twitter for college football discussion updates when I'll be uploading or just going to talk to me or anything like that at Cooper FCSN. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this, including award predictions, college football game breakdowns, college football playoff breakdowns, and then NFL coverage from Fro Free on this channel. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your night. This is Cooper signing out.